Alright, what is up guys and welcome back to another review video and we're going to be doing a scope called the Barska 3 to 9 by 42 scope and I'm going to be telling you guys my personal opinions on this. I've had it for a while and got some use out of it so I'm pretty comfortable with explaining this one very well. So let's get into the video and I'll tell you whether or not you should get the Barska scope. Let's do it. All right, so first thing is, right here it is, it's the Barska 3 to 9 by 42 IR BDC Drum Contour Scope. Now that sounds really long, but more or less, it's supposed to just have BDC on it, and you're also, it's a 3 to 9 by 42. So real quick, if you don't know what that means, it means the zoom goes from 3 to 9, and the very front lens is 42 millimeters. I bought this scope a while back. So, kind of some backstory really quick to help explain this scope better. I bought my 223-556 AR, and it was just kind of an impulse buy. I wanted one. I really didn't know much about the topic, so I just bought pretty much the cheapest one I could find. And then after I did, I knew that Walmart sold scopes that were like $50. You could find them for $40, $60. And I wanted a good one, and I wanted an AR one, but I did no research whatsoever. And I went in the store... And I found this one. I think at the time it was somewhere between $120 and $150. And I was like, $150 or $120, whatever it was. I said, that's got to be better than the Walmart. But I know it's not as good as the three, dollars $400 ones. So that was kind of what I was in the market for. Just something kind of mid-level. And I looked at it and I saw it. I thought it looked cool. And I said, I'm going to try it with no research whatsoever. Honestly, I regret it. Let me tell you why. First thing is, if we just kind of look at the box itself it's cardboard like most things are it came in a little cardboard box which i mean it's not that bad and it comes with a little cloth so not the worst but the vortex that i just bought i mean this box is there's more money in this box than i'm making a month so i mean it's just very very nice it came with all kinds of styrofoam to keep everything in there Came with all kinds of little instruction books and stuff, and the cardboard is a lot nicer. However, when you think that this is a hundred dollar scope, and you compare it to a Walmart scope, I mean, the box difference really isn't that much because what you're going to get at Walmart or any other like forty dollar scope you order online, the box isn't going to be that good. So let's kind of throw that to the side and move to the next point which is the scope itself. I'm just gonna be honest, I should have paid $20 for this scope and no more. And I don't really like the bad mouth things, but it's a review and I wanna give my honest opinion for people out there. Now, the scope works. I have no doubt in my mind that I can zero this thing in and hit something with it. So it's good for that. However, the reason I say I don't like this scope is when I look through it, it is so hard to find a good spot in it. And I just don't think, you know, it gets foggy very, very easily. And there's only really one point, the eye relief on it. I can only really find one point, unlike my Vortex, which is just absolutely insane. If you know anything about it, you might say, well, you can't really compare a $100 scope to a $400 Vortex, and you're right. But I've also used my friend's $50 Simmons from Walmart and his $140 Nikon Buckmaster. And I believe I like both of them better than this. I don't know if the size has anything to do with it at all, but at first I got it just because it was kind of more compact. But now overall, I think I like the longer scopes better. But just overall, it seems like I can never really get good eyesight. And that's probably my biggest thing from it. It's very hard. You can get a very clear eyesight through it. But you have to be on that perfect spot. You can't really move around much. And the more you zoom in, the worse it gets. So that's my main complaint with this. But like I said, it will zero in on a target and hit whatever you want. When it comes down to it, I think this scope's kind of getting a little old. But I just looked it up, and I think you can buy this for it's somewhere right around $100 now. I would say that if you're going for a scope, and you're in the market, but you don't really want to spend the Vortex money, but you also don't want to get the Walmart one, or the $40 one. So you're looking at something like this. Personally, I wouldn't recommend this specific, the Barska. 
I've never really played with any of their other scopes, but I don't know if I really want to after this, just because I hadn't had the best experience with this. It just seems like I always have trouble getting good vision through it, or it's foggy, or something's wrong. So I don't really like that about it. But it does have the illuminations on it and everything. But back to what I was saying, if you're looking at something kind of in that price range, I would look for my friend's Buckmaster. I love it. I mean, it's just a really overall clear scope. So I would look for something. If you're not wanting to spend that much, either just go ahead and get the cheap one and deal with it, or go up a little more, maybe spend around 150 or something for like the Buckmaster or some other brand of scope that's well known. I'd also recommend if you're looking for a scope, do some research on it first because that was my main problem. If I were to research this and watch more videos on it, I may or may not have bought it. But you never really know until you look out there, you look at the statistics and everything. So overall, I wouldn't say that this is the worst scope. I would say that you could definitely use it. But just personally, I don't know if I would recommend the Barska unless you're just trying to get started or you really like the compact size. But look for other options out there first. It says it's waterproof, fogproof, and shockproof. But like I said, it's fogged up on me. I can't tell you how many times. I've also seen some other uh, researchers, YouTubers, videos talk about how the Barska is a kind of cheaper brand. But if cheap's what you're going for, then it's not too bad of a scope. But like I said, I believe that you can probably get one at Walmart or a $40, $50 on Amazon that might do you just as good as this one. And it kind of tries to make it a big deal that there's BDC on here, which is bullet drop compensation. But most scopes you can find anyways will have the little markers on them or something that you will help you do BDC. And it also up here at the top has, it says range yards by 100 and it goes up to 5. And I believe that's supposed to be, I don't know if that's supposed to be the BDC or what. Because on the box it has a little description here. And it says bullet drop compensating range drum for trajectory adjustments allows you to make quick elevation adjustments externally and make fine adjustments internally well i have no clue what that means because i can't tell you how many times i've played with this dial up top here just turning it to different things and it hits the same spot every time so i don't know if i'm doing something wrong or this scope's just not working the way it's supposed to for that but I've turned it before and I've never really got any results out of it. If you want, I'll leave a link in the description with my other Vortex scope that's really nice. I'll also leave this one down there. And then I also might leave some others down there just so you can check out or do your own research. But there'll also be affiliate links through Amazon. So it really helps out and supports the channel if you go click on them or if you decide to buy something. So I really appreciate that. I love your guys' support. It means the world to me. If you have one, tell me what you think of the brand. Because like I said, I've seen some people kind of talk like they're not the best. But at the same time, this is the only scope I've had. Do whatever makes you happy. Just see what you like. But make sure you research. But I think that's going to do it for this review video. As I said, this has been the Barska 3-9x42IR BDC Drum Contour Scope. But as always, if nobody told you today, I love you. Stay blessed. And we will catch you guys next time. Peace.